Do you know what I did not have room for in my budget? A tent. Maybe if I shopped around, but didn't find one. And do you know what else? Rain gear. Pretty sure it's not coming this way. I think it's going that way. But yeah, big thunderhead. You can hear it. Fortunately, if it does rain, boom, shelter, and it's close. Peanut, what are you doing? This is the fourth pot of water I've boiled today. Pretty tedious. Time to use my shank. I went and got this off the of pine because I actually brought some, um, some sausages I got made from deer I got last year. So we're gonna roast them over this fire here shortly. Man, I'm pleasantly surprised by this steak knife turned outdoor knife. do. Peanut, hand me my sausage. Or just lay your head back down. Thanks, bro. Not too shabby. I do like how I've kind of figured out how you just bring the rubber band down from the handle over the cardboard sheath to hold it in place. It's pretty sweet. Probably gonna have a little bit of a pine pitch taste as well, but there's worse tastes. Peanut, my tired dog, and my $5 thermrest with my $3 G.I. Joe sleeping bag, and I don't know, probably like a $150 hoodie that is now a pillow. Sweet. Almost bedtime.
will say my sleeping bag was probably about three inches short. That's what she said. Nailed it. Just had my first cup of coffee, but it is breakfast time for someone. your food. It's gonna be a good day. Clean shirt, clean socks, second cup of coffee. Let's do this thing. Actually still pretty hot but I'm gonna finish this pack up camp head up that mountain I have to basically stand here so he'll drink while I finish my coffee so hopefully I don't have to share very much water with him up on the mountain because guess who's not carrying water peanut keep drinking It is pretty cool up here. In a minute we're gonna go over this like little boulder field. Which yesterday was pretty sketchy for Peanut with his pack. Today he'll be super nimble. fall there are consequences. I'm officially past where we rested yesterday into new ground.
not a bad spot at all. How comfortable is that peanut? Sweet. Up here doing some filming. Got in some water. Sweet pack. Somewhere up there, those people are climbing. I'm guessing around the other side because I don't see them. I have a couple more videos I want to get done and then probably break some food and I don't know, maybe film some more or head back down. Been up here filming all morning, almost 11 o'clock, time for some lunch. Some element in here, which I probably need in part because of taste and yeah, hydrating is good. Sweet prison shank. Some dry salami, genteel, mild. Let's do this. lying under a tree somewhere sleeping like a dog just finished some filming and lunch now we're gonna follow this trail around here and see where it goes It is starting to rain a little bit. Just a little bit like uh, afternoon summer thunderstorm without any thunder yet. We'll see. No. Saw a squirrel. Leave it. Harvesting some accelerant right here. Definitely makes the fire start easier. Little tripod. Yay, sap, it's helping. Oh, damn it, the wind is not. All right, get this thing. I feel like I'm definitely getting better at boiling water with my fire. Also getting better at pulling water out of there. Look at how little dirt is in there. 
Get him better. What do you think, Peanut? I appreciate your vote of confidence. It's probably just a afternoon thunderstorm that'll probably blow through. But if not, still have that fallback over here. Right there. I keep my fire going. Peanut's kind of over it. I'm kind of curious how long this will last. Should I stay out here? for another night could of course just hike back down but no stranger to discomfort uh, we'll give it a while longer Storm rolled through, but we're still still hanging out. Working on making some more water. And if you're wondering, my dog is right there, resting. I continue to be pretty impressed with my repurposed prison shank and sheath from Chicago Cutlery. Of course, some of you are like, can you baton wood with it? Probably, haven't tried, but I will. Here is some tamarack, stuff burns really good. Give this thing a go. Kinda got off to an angle, bear with me. Boom. In answer to your question, yes, you can baton wood with a Chicago cutlery prison shank. It's basically the new darling of bushcrafters everywhere. And since we're talking about gear, let's go ahead and revisit everything on this $20 adventure. Thermarest, real deal. Who knows when this thing was made. Still holds air all night long. It's incredible. Wonderful night's sleep. I will say I will probably carry this in place of one of my Z folds just because Honestly, it's more comfortable. Might still bring a Z fold just because there's utility with like something you cannot puncture, but this thing did an amazing job. What about Fishing Strike Team by G.I. Joe? Honestly, I love this thing for no other reason than nostalgia. Like I grew up watching G.I. Joe and hopefully they're better at fishing than shooting bad guys because they literally never shoot anyone. Nobody ever dies. But this thing, it's cool. It's what I expected. It's a kid's bag. And it's about three inches too short. Does it matter? Not really. I mean, Ivan, are you gonna freeze? No, I'm not gonna freeze to death because this is a summer adventure. If I was planning a winter adventure, I would probably shop around a little more at thrift stores or just get the other really good sleeping bag they had that was like four dollars cheaper than this one but nostalgia kept me warm slept good last night aside from a couple bug bites did not have to do with the sleeping bag though what about this backpack epic in a word this thing is great world famous the everest number 228 i'm still I'm still just going with 228 is literally the serial number. Like this was the 228th pack. I could probably look it up, but why bother? Why spoil it for myself? This 
has actually done a really good job on this adventure. First day, I ended up hiking up almost to basically the saddle right below, and there was no water. It was time to come back down, hike back down. I don't know, probably like four hours of hiking or something yesterday. And then today, hiked up, did some filming up top, and went around back, checked it out, and then eventually hiked back down to here, and this did a great job for me. Again, I was looking, magnesium frame. This thing was basically like cutting edge, probably when it was first made, however many years ago. These shoulder straps. Yeah. Honestly, they're not bad. The first part of this hike up here, I was really feeling, I think like the first hour for whatever reason. And then after that, I think I adjusted my hip belt more, took most of the weight off my shoulder straps and didn't really feel them after that at all. I, these, this whole thing is pretty much set up. Like I literally took it out of the thrift store and loaded it down and put it on. Did not adjust up. I think I adjusted the shoulder straps a tiny bit. The shoulder straps for the way I think I would like run them. I'm pretty sure they're like backwards. Like it should be going the other way, the webbing, but it works. Don't really care. Um, this pack belt, I don't even know size medium, probably original to it. The only reason I say that is because it actually has the same attachment method with these grommets and pins. And then I should really replace all of these, these little split rings. They're pretty beat up like everywhere they're beat up, but, um, yeah, no, it's done a good job. Like it does what it's supposed to do. It carries my stuff. I will say, man, I lost so many little teeth trying to open this. Most of them are still inside here. Bummer. Come on, YKK. In fairness, this is probably from the 80s. Same with this guy. Would like to be able to put a sweet little something in there. Be like, hey, this belongs to me. But probably not. This zipper, it's doing pretty good down here. Haven't put anything in it. Oh yeah, and since this one basically self-destructed, the zipper when I opened it, sized perfectly. It actually fits a Nalgene bottle, which is great because there's not a provision for it, like a modern pack, like at your waist or anything like that. So fits there. There's a sweet little stash pocket up here. Toilet paper in case you need to poop. And then, yeah, th this literally ties. It goes down here, through there, that one through there, and then bow tie in the middle, make it work. Right here, there's this external pouch. This zipper, it's hanging in there, missing a couple teeth. But uh, I actually zip this one open and closed. It works for carrying stuff. And then this zipper is probably doing the best. It's the beefiest one. And this, again, probably cutting edge back in the day. This is actually set up, not for your food, but this is actually set up for like putting your sleeping bag in here, like stuffing it straight in here which is what I did, but then I brought my stuff sack too so I could turn it into a pillow. But yeah, plenty of room in there for your sleeping bag. And then, oh yeah, this pouch actually works. I have something in there. This one, pretty sure the zipper works. I actually leave it open. I have sunscreen and bug spray that I've kept in there. And then old school, there's these metal stays. It comes like this piece right here, it comes up over and down and goes into a little pocket inside. So if you're not using it, like the whole thing, we'll go ahead and collapse flat. Overall, I'm actually really stoked on this thing. Like it's a really cool pack. At the thrift store, $8 full price. Go on Wednesday, half off, four bucks. And no, this was not part of it. That's actually my med kit that I threw on here because out here to have fun, not die from something preventable. But yeah, pack has been doing awesome. What about my other stuff? Working awesome. You have a Nalgene bottle, pretty much indestructible. 
that now has sweet stickers on it. And I will say, without having a other water purification option, it can be a little tedious and requires a lot of fuel, but making it happen. So I ended up getting this at the dollar store, two quart, 1.89 liters, Alka 9 water, clever. I did notice it says nine purification steps. And when I read that, I'm like, I pretty sure I use basically one or technically two. Like what kind of water are you getting to begin with? It's gotta be terrible. But what I'll end up doing is I've already put water in here and I let it cool off some. So I'll go pour it into this container. Unfortunately, oh, so close. Oh, that's it. I have to drink a little. So now I have in reserve 1.89 liters. Set that there. And then I just boiled that water. Again, stainless steel pot. Works great. It's stainless steel. You're not going to mess it up. You can throw gravel in there if you need to clean it out. As far as scrub it, anything like that, doesn't matter. But let me drink this water real quick. It's such a pain to make. I don't want to waste any. So the process take this, which has been amazing, $1.50 at the thrift store, half off. And it allows me to actually scoop water I otherwise would not be able to, either with my pot or my Nalgene bottle. So put my water into there, boil that, which again, kind of resource intensive, but it works. And then after it boils, Look at this sweet filtering process. Take it here. And pour it through this, I don't know, 10,000 micron filter. Sounds legit. Till we probably fill it up. It's pretty close. It's like this pot's like almost a liter. And I'm trying not to pour it all because there's a bunch of gross stuff in there. That I don't really need my shirt to catch or not catch. Bam! Another liter of water. That's really hot. So what I'll do then is I'll tighten this down and I'll go over to the creek. Or I say creek. There's barely a trickle of water. But this is really hot right now. So I'll just go lay it in there until it cools down. 25 cents. Two dollars fifty cents. I guess a dollar at the dollar store. Oh yeah. And last but not least, this little guy. How many lumens is it? Mm, probably a thousand. I will say it does exactly what I bought it to do. I clip it on there, I turn it on, and I can adjust it to whatever task at hand, and it gives me just enough light. Does that mean I want to hike down in the middle of the night with this? Probably not. Do I want to go like search and rescue and try and find someone? Nope. Can I do any tasks that I need to take care of while I'm out camping? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty handy. Again, all this stuff, $3 sleeping bag. Yeah, all this stuff under $20 budget. Oh yeah, and lest I forget, pretty clutch to make fire. This guy also from the dollar store. And there's peanuts. Ivan, what is the moral of the story? What's the takeaway? Get out of your own way. There's so much fun to be had out of doors. And the idea of, oh, like I don't have the gear, like I can't afford 20 bucks. Like literally stop buying coffee at a coffee shop 
for probably less than a month and you'll have 20 bucks like whatever you can find 20 bucks probably in your couch cushions you can scrape together 20 bucks this pretty much on a whim if i was like hey i'm gonna go garage sailing and go haggle with people that honestly just want to get rid of stuff or actually shop around and try and find something really good that you're going to want to spend time with does it matter that i don't have the best gear no like what what's the benefit if this twenty dollars turned into six or seven hundred dollars maybe it's a little bit more comfortable you know what else is more comfortable not 10 or 15 pounds of camera gear like there's that you it doesn't matter like that that comfort benefit comes at a really high cost and it's incremental and very small like what are you trying to do are you, are you really trying to go be really comfortable or are you trying to get out in the mountains and enjoy yourself like get out of your own way 20 bucks went to a couple thrift shops grabbed what i needed went out spent some time in the mountains i'm gonna end up staying one more night tonight probably get up really early probably won't do too much filming maybe make some coffee and head down and out of here and it will have been i don't know what a 20 dollar 48 hour adventure something like that overall a pretty rad time for only 20 bucks not bedtime yet but it's getting close Got up early, working on making some coffee, and then gonna pack everything up. Come on, this way. Five fifteen, stepping off. Sky actually looks pretty clear, but it's raining. A little bit of rain from the clouds. Even though there's not much of a cloud, which is crazy. Well, heading down. about probably one hour in just over an hour and stopping here so peanut can drink i'm gonna also drink some water and i'm gonna feed peanut because he's probably starving to death We made it. About two hours to get down. One more adventure in the bag for 20 bucks. Look, all I'm saying is my Chicago Cutlery prison shank full tang blade. Most Moras don't even have a full tang. Pretty legit. Peanut. Love you.